doing the carpet iron treatment today. Found the nest in the windowsill here. Uh, made a little hole here, and now they're pouring out after we dust it. Um, dust a little more into the void. It blows in as a light fluffy powder into the void and it kind of overtakes it just as if you're blowing smoke into the void. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, they're starting to pour out. And if you want to zoom down to the bottom here, that's the after effect of a termite uh, carpenter ant hit. And that was a good hit. It seems like a large colony that was in there, so there's probably some extensive damage in there. Um, not, not to the extent of termite damage, but for a carpenter ant colony, that's pretty big. You, know, you can usually tell by the size of the workers too how mature the colony is, and that is a mature colony because they are pretty big. This has been going on for quite a while. I, I wouldn't assume there's any structural damage, but probably you know, maybe damage about a two, three foot section in there. They don't damage the wood to eat it, uh, just enough to burrow into it, to live in it, to build their colony in there. Um, it seems like we've got a good hit. Uh, unfortunately, this one here, I had to make a few holes into the wall to try to get into the void space. Usually we attempt to not make any holes whatsoever, just to hit the spots where they're entering so we don't have to make any further holes, but once in a while we might have to. This is a guaranteed treatment. Um, all, all our hand treatments are guaranteed. Main colony source is probably the tree that is outside over there, and they build sub-colonies from there on once the population grows in the tree. They start building sub colonies, and the house here is one of them. And that is how you perform the good carpet and Nice, man.